Hey guys, Matt Wicker with Chatley Marine. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to take a quick look at a 2024 Sea Hunt Ultra 229. For anyone not familiar with Sea Hunt boats, they are built in Columbia, South Carolina. They've been in business since 1995 and they are the uh, top producer of center consoles from 18 to 30 foot in the United States. And Chatley Marine is proud to be uh, their top dealer in the country year after year. Before we climb inside the boat, we'll take a quick look at the specs. The 2024-229 Sea Hunt Ultra is 22 foot, 8 inches long. It's got an 8 and a half foot beam and an 84 gallon fuel tank capacity. Uh, this boat comfortably seats 8 persons. And uh, quickly comparing that to the little brother, the 219, because those two boats get compared a lot. The, the 229 is a foot and 4 inches longer than the 219. It's 3 inches wider and has a 25% larger fuel capacity. Uh, we're also going to talk about some of the differences inside when we climb inside. Climbing in the boat, the very first thing you notice is the comfortable bow area. Sea Hunt does a great job locating cup holders and making sure that everything is laid out perfectly for boat riding. So, you know, a lot of boats, if you try to put two people in the bow of the boat, your knees are tucked into your neck and your feet are touching each other on the Sea Hunt. Even the 219, and especially bigger boats like this, you can sit two full-size adults up front. They can stretch your legs out, the legs don't touch. You've got cup holders perfectly placed. Um, you've got recess grab rail, so just a very, very comfortable bow area for entertaining. If you're not entertaining, you can remove these cushions and you've got a huge casting area. You also have two insulated storage boxes that have, have overboard drainage. Uh, the port side bow storage is 70 quart and the starboard side is 110 quart. And again, these are insulated with overboard drainage stepping up you've got a very large anchor locker and this boat has the optional trolling motor pre-wire uh, which is tucked away to protect it from the rain and salt water salt water excuse me moving back from the bow you'll notice that the uh, the bow seating has a cooler that's located under the front seat and this cooler is insulated and the water will uh, We'll drain around out the side as the ice melts. Again, cup holders perfectly located in the front. Uh, boat is standard with a jail audio system with four speakers. Bolsters move towards the back. As we get to the back, they did redesign the boat for the dual VIP bucket seats, which are really comfortable. They're comfortable and also that aids in giving you know more room to walk around. Uh, we talked about the differences between the 219 and 229, and one of the major differences is the room behind the leaning post. So if you took a uh, a measurement from the floor from the the back of the leaning post to the stern of the boat on the two uh, 219, it is 22 and a half inches, and on the 229, it's 23 and a half inches. So this room here is much larger. It's, it's large enough to where if uh, someone was seated in the back deck, you could walk in front of them and they'd never have to move. Taking another look at the stern of the boat, uh, we'll lift up all the hatches. The first hatch here, which is on the port side, you'll notice you've got a five gallon storage bucket that lifts out and you have access to your fresh water and pumps underneath the bucket. The center compartment is your live well. It's 15 gallon live well, which is insulated with overboard drainage and under the uh, starboard side, you've got your dual battery setup, which is standard with a switch and also easy access to pumps. Moving back, you've got uh, flush mount rod holders that are standard, pull up cleats that are standard. You do have a walk through transom, which is a really nice feature if you have any older adults that have trouble lifting up their legs, getting in, or, or clumsy guys like me that trip on stuff. Uh, you also have a four step board ladder, which makes it really easy to get in the boat and deeper water. And on the opposite side, you've got a stern anchor storage locker, which is unique to Sea Hunt. That way you're not tracking sand and mud and cluttering the forward anchor locker. Uh, you'll notice while I'm on this boat, this boat does have the optional Skeeto bar, which is a, a very popular feature for our area. Guys are gonna be pulling tubes and skis. And it does have a turbo swing also. I'm not exactly sure why you would have both of them but that must be something this customer chose to do taking a quick look at the console first thing you'll notice is the dual footrest placement which is great for guys and for females or, or children with shorter legs that second footrest option gives you a place to put your feet so your feet don't 
dangle uncomfortably. Um, all seants are standard with tilt steering. They use a vision wheel with a suicide knob standard feature. Uh, they are standard with command link digital gauges, which give you all your fuel man management information, give you your tachometer, speedometer, voltmeter, um, all your engine information. Great layout with the uh, switch panel. Everything's labeled nice and neat. You do have five accessory switches so that you can uh, add things down the road. It's standard with a 12 volt accessory port, standard with a uh, USB port that charges and also allows you to play USB sticks through the JL Audio Stereo system. JL Audio Stereo is standard, four speakers, Bluetooth, MP3 like we just talked about. It's also standard with a wireless phone charger, so you can put your phone up there. If you listen to your music, it'll constantly charge itself. You've got a nice dash storage pad, put a cell phone stuff you don't want sliding around. It is standard with a compass. The boat comes standard with a 9 inch Garmin, it's a 943 XSV with an Airmar B150 through hole transducer. So uh, a high end unit that's capable of doing pretty much everything 99% of our customers will ever wanna do. You can add side imaging to it, you can add radar, autopilot, um, anything that you want with that unit. And it also includes a Garmin VHF radio. And this VHF radio is networked to the, uh, to the GPS so that if you are in trouble, uh, you can register the DSC feature and it will um, notify the Coast Guard of issues. All Sea Hunt boats are power matched with Yamaha engines. Standard engine on the 229 Ultra is a 150. Here at Chatley, we choose to package ours with the 200. That does a great job for uh, families doing water sports, boat riding, hanging out, pretty much anything you'll throw at it, the 200 does a great job. It does have a max horsepower rating of a, uh, of a 250. When it comes to uh, tops, you've got Four options: A, you can do no 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 shade. B would be a bimini. C would be the uh, factory hardtop, which is shown on this one. It is a D tubing hardtop, all welded, oversized tubing. Um, comes standard with four rod holders. Comes with mood lights underneath the hard hardtop. Comes with a mister system and a freshwater shower, fiberglass electronics box, and a front and rear spreader light. This uh, this top is powder coated, which is also an option. Uh, the standard top will come with uh, just the, the bare aluminum and the powder coat option for, for white or black. And when you do that, also the, uh, the, the linen post seat matches. Fourth option is the canvas T-top, which is very popular on all the 219, 229, 234. A little bit less expensive, gives you a little bit more shade. Still all welded aluminum with front and rear LED spreader lights. It comes with six rod holder standard. Um, comes with a life jacket storage neck at the back fiberglass electronics box and also includes a uh, a full snap-on spray shield. So this top is very popular on 219, 229, 234. One last look at the 2024 229 Ultra. This is Matt Wicker with Chatley Marine. If you're in the market for a new sea hunt, we have some great pricing. We are the largest sea hunt dealer in the, in the country. Got some boat show incentives going on right now, so give us a call. 919-775-7259. Again, ask for Matt Wicker when you call, please. 919-775-7259 and ask for Matt Wicker. I'd love to answer any questions for you and uh, try to save you some money on, on the purchase of your new sea hunt.